Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, for those of you that are new here, this is my homemade A10C Warthog flight simulator. Uh, made by myself in my garage. Most of it's just plywood and MDF and paint. Plastic and it's run by three projectors on a 270 degree curved screen. So today's video is just going to be another quick update video. Uh, not much has really changed in the cockpit um, over the last couple of months. Most of it's all software based, namely clouds are here so I'm running DTS 2.7 now so the only real thing that I've upgraded in the cockpit is the uh, I finally got around to installing the pedestal handles down here so this whole section here and the handles are all 3d printed uh, designed it in FreeCAD so the original plans actually had that curved section as part of the front of it I cut that off and had that just completely deleted uh, because I never needed them and then one day I needed them Don't flip over, don't flip over, don't flip over. So they're all 3D printed. Uh, there's a spring in there and it hits some micro switches. The button actually presses, but it's um, not functional. It's supposed to be a lock. You're supposed to push it in to enable it to pull out. Oh, I didn't design that mechanism. I just um, I just put it there for looks. So if I just pause the game so I don't actually do it, uh, you can see that you pull it out it only comes, it only travels that far and it just hits a micro switch which tells the game to release the auxiliary landing gear. And then over this side it's just the same thing mirrored for the pedal adjust. It's not actually a functional pedal adjust, I'll just um, wide it up to another switch so I can use it for other things around the cockpit. So as always the um, files have been updated so I'll share the 3D CAD files for that so you can print your own. Uh, the link will be in the description. And the labels that I've done on it. Uh, I'm cut on my own vinyl cutter which I purchased. Uh, I might do a video on that later. Um, just something else in the garage, another tool I can use. Uh, I also use that vinyl cutter to do the stickers on the outside of the engine management gauges so oh, you can't really see it while the gauge is on. If I just turn that off you can see that it's got the proper colour on there now like the real one. Uh, I will get around to editing the Helios profile so the gauges are slightly larger um, and it looks a bit better but I just haven't got around to that yet. Also with the vinyl cutter I have been working on a new logo and using it to do a few sort of decals around the pit, the flag and stuff, stuff like that. I'm also going to use the vinyl cutter to redo the sides here. Um, you can see how these ones, they look pretty good now but they're painted with masks and they're not perfect when you look up close. Uh, after I rebuild up the console, so these are still going to be taller, I'm going to give it a whole new coat of paint on the externals. I'm thinking about doing the um, A10C Demo Bird, the Red River Hog, just because I like the colour scheme. It'll be cool to have camo green on one side and brown on the other side. It's got the high-vis markings on it so I can cut them in with the vinyl cutter. Uh, one of the other additions, so I've started streaming on Twitch. You can see I bought a stream deck for that. Um, that thing's actually come in really handy for other things around the aircraft. For example, to bring up the F10 map, I used to have to toggle out of the 3D view, then push F10, and then to get out of it, I'd have to push F1 and toggle back into the 3D view. With the stream deck, I can just push map, and it does it automatically all for me. Um, so I can look at the F10 map, and then if I just push it again, it brings me back into the cockpit. And it hits the right warp and everything. Uh, but the main reason I've got it is because I'm streaming on Twitch, so I set up a whole bunch of cameras and I can toggle between them. Uh, one of the other things I've changed is I got myself one of these. So the Oculus Rift um, I've been using has been replaced with a HP Reverb G2, and this thing is epic. Uh, so I do fly VR in this. If you want to see my thoughts on VR versus a simulator like this, have a look at the video. I'll link it up the top now. Absolutely brilliant, this thing. It makes it much, much, much um, better. However, does not work in 2.7 right now. Every single time I try to run this in VR with 2.7, I get a crash to desktop. So I haven't actually flown VR with clouds yet. Um, I'm hoping that patches will fix that and I don't think I'm the only one having that problem.
Another thing I did in the sim room was I got a, some cool artwork hanging up. I bought a print um, online and then got it framed. It's my favorite library on the A10C. And then over that side, there's a Tomcat. Uh, yeah, so that sort of brings the room together. Uh, another thing that I've done on the software front, so I put a lot of time over the last couple of months into a website that I've started about this cockpit. Uh, so if you go to thewarthogproject.com, uh, you will read about how I made this thing. I'm not selling anything, I'm not you know, sponsoring anything, I'm not doing any of that. All, all I made that website was to answer all the questions that I get from this. And it's a place where I can put all the information about this thing in one place so people can read it. Uh, you can also download all the files and everything from there now as well. So 2.7's obviously out, the clouds look pretty epic on this. Uh, I love the way that they cast shadows on the ground now and it adds a whole, a whole new um, element to DCS being able to hide in them. Anyway, thanks heaps for watching. Uh, make sure you go check out thewarthogproject.com. Uh, lots of info on there about this whole thing and how I run it. Um, also, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, throw them in the comments down below and I'll try to answer them. What I'm going to do now is just cut to some random highlights of streams um, so you can see some flying around and me rambling. It's, uh... Yeah, that's pretty cool actually. Just have inactive Sam sitting around is weird. They're about to be permanently inactive. Slew that to that. Rifle. About to be a whole bunch of hurt down there. some glaring issues that still need to be fixed. Like, why the f*** are we... <sighs> yeah, anyway, I'm just ranting now. Why are we in open beta still? Look, DCS... I'm definitely not an expert at this. Sorry, say again. I'm definitely no formation expert. It's a lot. It, it's a lot easier in VR though. Oh, lag. One five four seven, northing. Three seven, three three four eight, easting. And then I'll hit it this way. We gotta go real low. Get some ground between us. Oh shit, I nearly f***ing discombobulated then. So I think it's going to be just above this hill. I'll just pop up to make sure I haven't f***ed which hill it was. No, I have. I think we're probably going to die anyway. What is going on with my slew sensor? What's going on with my slew sensor? Why is it moving? I can't believe I'm not a dead right now. Guns, guns, guns. Let's just nail him now. You can get some guns, my friend. Oh, wait, where's my hard view? Here you go. Gets me every time. One left down there. Yeah, the new fire effects look really cool. The head, the helmet's out. Sorry, I can't have the helmet mount sight in this setup because there's no way to use it effectively. I'm a bit disorientated now, I can't see, um... 
Oh, there they are, just there. I got the radar. I'll just there's one launcher down there. I've got one rocket. I'll give that a crack. And then I'll be completely Winchester. Very close. What was that shooting at me? Oh shit, that is a Ah, uh, I'm down. Ah, uh, my ejection handle. That was... an enemy f***ing jet. I did actually see an aircraft, but I was ignoring it because... whatevs. 